All right, so now we're going inside the biosphere, which is the museum here inside the dome. I don't know why they call it the biosphere. There's also a biodome in Montreal. Who knows? Along the way to find this elevator. Here we are upstairs in Planet Bucky. That brings me to O. Two sanitary devices render the buildings autonomous from water supply lines and sewage carry away systems. These are A, the fog gun, which cleans human skin and other surfaces with very small amounts of water, and also the dry packaging and cartonized carrying away of human waste systems. These are contained in the Dymaxion bathroom. Now these systems take away all wet plumbing from the households, which has been responsible for most of the infectious bacteria we find in the houses. Also, it gets rid of the disgusting, awful splashback feature of our water flush toilets. Come on, people. You're getting shit on your face. city you feel caged in like a prisoner. But we find once we get inside a dome, especially one this large, you don't feel like a prisoner at all. It's actually quite freeing. Especially if the dome is a three-quarter size dome, which means the walls go away from you before they come over top. Like this one here. Q. Geodesic domes are designed based on nature's very own most economical principles. For example, a dandelion gone to seed. Okay, so we're going back outside now to this wonderful upper deck here in the Montreal Dome. R. Domes, even fully constructed, are air deliverable and easily deployable all around the world. Meaning that S, two types of domes, could easily accommodate all the convergent, divergent, to and froing requirements of world humanity. Domed over cities for the convergent phases and air deliverable domes for the remote deployment phases. Sweet! Man, I fucking love it when things make sense. Domes are beautiful. Look at this. All the nice, pretty stars. They're also really, really easy to understand. See, we've got basically pentagons up there, and then a whole bunch of hexagons as well, made by these different levels of piping that join together at the central nodes. They're easily understandable by anyone, including a child. A single family dome can be built in under 24 hours with just a few humans using minimal tools. All right, you. Let's ask you. Hey there, sir. What's your name? Graham. How's it going? Good, Graham. It's nice to meet you. My name's Jim. I'm here uh, with the Bucky Show in Montreal. I'm wondering if you can give us a super amazing fact about geodesic domes. Actually, a really interesting fact about the biosphere, which is a geodesic dome that was designed by Richard Buckminster Fuller, is that an equivalent structure of the same size would require 50% more materials to build. And the actual most interesting fact about this is that the sphere is 20 times stronger than that structure that would have been built otherwise. That is amazing. socially beneficial applications. For example, the geoscope. By projecting our world onto a geodesic dome, we can receive constantly updated information viewed from either inside or outside. W. Bucky's last invention was a further incarnation of the geodesic dome, called the fly's eye dome. 
even more structurally efficient and even more easily air deliverable. X. Geodesic domes render completely obsolete all of our thousand years old architectural principles and are now completely illogical social city planning geometries. As Bucky said, humans were born with legs, not roots. Our principal advantage is mobility. Why? We make a geodesic dome large enough, roughly a kilometer in diameter, and we heat the air inside the dome. The atmosphere inside the dome becomes lighter than the atmosphere outside the dome, even if there's humans inside. Bucky called these Cloud Nine Floating Cities. Floating cities could be tied to mountaintops and house thousands of passengers. And Z. All the features of geodesic domes that we've gone over today constitute a trend of ephemeralization, are doing more with less, hopefully, eventually, to be able to do so much with so little as to take care of all humanity at a higher standard of living than has ever been known before. domes and energy and solutions for society and now that you know your ABCs please go home and read some Bucky!